Namaste. Dr. Uh, Rushikesh Senapati, Director NCRT, Dr. Uh, Saroj Yadav, Dean Academic NCRT, teachers, uh, principals, and especially students from different states of India. My fiasai upastit hua hu ap sab ke beach. Muje bahut prasanta heki yoga Olympia divas aj sumporn waha. You've already seen a, a video and, and documentary, so I, I really don't want to repeat uh, myself, but uh, it's important to uh, underline that uh, uh, International Yoga Day to be celebrated not just in India, but around the world tomorrow is a great initiative by the Prime Minister of uh, India, Sri Narendra Modi, and we at UNESCO are very proud to support it. All the more so, all the more so that uh, there's also a very strong link to UNESCO because, uh, again, it was inscribed, yoga was inscribed in 2016 on the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. And that's many reasons to celebrate. Friends, there is a growing concern throughout the world that uh, education systems today are becoming overly competitive, stress-fueled, and exam-oriented. Among uh, the youth of today, we're also witnessing the rising trends of intolerance and violent extremism on the one hand, uh, but also increasing levels of uh, anxiety and sometimes depression, on the other hand, among students. And our experts are truly alarmed that school attendance is not always a positive experience for many children and adolescents. The reasons uh, for these trends are many and complex, uh, but something must be done to redefine the purpose of school education and rethink schooling for the 21st century. This uh, appeal, Rethink Schooling for the 21st Century, was actually uh, the title of a publication released last year by the UNESCO Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Education for Peace and Sustainable Development. And uh, it illustrated vividly the challenges of a competitiveness and regimentation confronting school education across Asia and around the world and uh, this study also called for new formulas to be used. You may know, uh, and uh, uh, all the educationists here, I'm sure, are aware that UNESCO has also launched the Happy Schools project back in 2014 with uh, the aim of uh, promoting happiness in schools through enhanced learner well-being and holistic development. And I, I want to uh, pay credit to NCRT and uh, the ministry at large because I know you're well aware of all these challenges and you are tackling them. And I think being here today is one more illustration of the fact that you're looking at many ways uh, to tackle these uh, issues. And there is not only one practice, one new practice uh, introduced in school that is going to change the situation that I've described, but certainly that's where yoga comes into being. Uh, because UNESCO believes that schools must provide conducive environments to uh, holistic learning and where children feel physically but also mentally uh, safe and can uh, truly learn. Yoga reaches beyond gender, beyond culture, and uh, beyond uh, language also. And if understood correctly, I think it even reaches beyond age and certainly ability. Socially, yoga is also a great equalizer. So I would really like to take this uh, uh, opportunity to uh, thank once again and congratulate the Ministry of Human Resource Development and NCERT for uh, thinking about these issues, looking at how uh, school education can be redefined and also taking initiatives in the interests of Indian students through the reform of curriculum. And in this case, we're celebrating, of course, the introduction of, of yoga in the curriculum. Uh, the integration of uh, yoga into health and physical education, but also the development of uh, textbooks uh, on yoga for upper primary and secondary education. And uh, I think at the same time, 
events like uh, this one, wonderful events like this one, and the organization of the yoga, uh, National Yoga Olympiad, which is concluding today. I am uh, sure that all the students from uh, different parts of uh, India have uh, tremendously enjoyed uh, this event. And I understand from the director that you will continue in the future, and we certainly would like to uh, encourage you in this direction. And if you would like to continue having us as a partner, we'll be very happy uh, to be with you. I'm sure all the teachers, parents, and educationists that are, who are present uh, here today uh, were able to uh, take stock together of the importance of yoga and how it truly goes hand in hand with education. Thank you very much.